I wanted to give Dawa to my friend and colleague Joe by feeding some of the tastiest Pakistani dishes that I could find. Here's what happened. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to YouTube channel. Today we have a extremely, extremely special guest. Long overdue video. Long overdue. Long overdue video. So you can introduce yourself, bro. I don't even have to. Give, give it a try yourself. So my name is Joe. I teach with SQ. I teach phys ed. Um, this is going to be funny. When my friends and family see this video, they're going to laugh because <laughs> I I don't like venture out too far okay. with food. I'm pretty um, um, like reserved. So I eat like what I know that I like and I rarely try new things. So when I was telling SQ this, like probably like a year and a half yes. ago, right? Yes. <laughs> you were like, we have to do this. We, so the, it actually started to bring people up to speed. It started from these dishes right here. We were talking about eating some type of sweet and stuff. And I was just like, yo, have you ever tried this? You were like, nah, I never. I said, but what about this? And then we found out he's never had any Pakistani, <laughs> any Pakistani food at all. Okay, bro. So you have some food over here right now. Uh, what do you think? Have, have a little gander, have a little sniff. What do you think uh, these foods are so far? So I got to say, at first, I'm intimidated by this, okay? Anything unknown to me, especially in food, mm -hmm. is intimidating. So I'm always hesitant to try new things. For sure. Which is why I appreciate you pushing me yeah, to try new things. Yeah, you have thing. to. Yeah. This is what we call a chicken biryani. Ooh. Okay, chicken biryani is chicken essentially biryani. Uh, rice cooked within the meat together. Ooh. So it's not separate, it's just all together, blended in with a beautiful flavor. Okay? Nice. Let's actually start off with this one right here. Let's okay? do it. We're gonna hook Joe up right now with some spoons, but before we actually do that, we need to teach him a little bit of the sunnah of how we're gonna eat, okay, mm. my bro? So we've obviously washed your hands, we've taken care of those things, right? One of the best ways for us to eat is with our hands, okay? We have spoons, obviously, at your disposal. Yeah. But one of the best ways to eat is straight up with your hands. So what we usually do is we take the thumb, okay. the index finger, and the middle finger, and we grab and we eat. Ah. Okay, that's the that's style of eating, right? <laughs> this is actually the prophetic sunnah, the prophetic way to eat. This is how the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, ate. So we try our best to emulate him, okay. and we eat that way as well too, okay? Cool. So basically the way we eat this, bro, is really, really simple. We take these two fingers over here, and we just pinch. Pinch. Actually pinch, pinch, right? Yeah. And what you say before you eat, right? This is the tradition that what we have to say. We have to say Bismillah. Bismillah. Oh, you said it perfect. Okay, Bismillah. Let's go. Bismillah. Bismillah. Mm. Yeah? Mm. What flavors are you getting? I feel like I'm getting a little lemony. Mm -hmm. A little lemony flavor. Yes, sir, you are. There's a little zest. There's a little something spicy there. Mm -hmm. This movement, um, yeah. Picking it up with your hand is new to me. It's like very unnatural, it right? Is. I don't remember the last time I just picked you up actually ate food with, your hands. with my hand. Yeah. It seems like in, in, in the society we live in, that it seems like more backwards or something. Mm -hmm. But the truth is not. Your your fingers, obviously, minus the whole COVID thing, there's actually a lot of, if you clean your hands correctly, obviously, there's a lot of healthy bacteria that you can have as well, too, you know, within your saliva and so on. And this actually promotes your immune system to get stronger when you mm -hmm. do things like this. Scientifically proven, at least. Mm -hmm. Now, this is called a beef nahari. Beef nahari. Beef nahari. That's basically a beef stew cooked for hours. Okay. Okay. So the meat is going to be very tender and it's just going to fall off. Ooh. Okay. Now with this, you don't eat this because it's just like a soup or type of um, like a blend where you know, like you can't just eat it, right? Mm -hmm. So what we have is a little bit of this right over here. Okay. Let's take a look at this. What do we got? Whoa. Wow, the smell on this oh, is that, amazing. Yeah, it smells nice, right? Wow. Yeah, I mean, so, you can tell this is homemade. Yes, like yes, that is homemade. Yeah, it's actually made in a clay oven. Really? Yes, yeah, a clay oven. Wow. Yeah. See, similar to like pizza that I eat, right? I eat on the pizza. Um, that kind of looks like the dough, like that same crispiness on like a pizza dough. Yeah, it is. On the outside of here, yeah. yeah. Get some of that bread, bro, and say Bismillah and dig in. Bismillah. That's it. Dig in. Here we go. I kind of just want to try the sauce first. Yeah, 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 definitely. What's your thoughts? Mm. Gotta get in there a little more. Hmm? A nun? A nun. A nun. Very good. Okay. Soft. The sauce here. Spicy. I can't put a, a flavor on okay. it. Okay, yeah. There's a lot of flavors here. Mm -hmm. I think I gotta try the beef. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. So try it. You can do however you want, but here's the traditional way of us doing it. We get a piece like this, mm -hmm. whatever. You fold it. Okay. Like that, yep. With the same two, three fingers, right? Yep. And whatever you do, you just scoop it. And now it's there. Yeah. Mm. That's the pro level way of doing it. I appreciate this new way of the eating. The beginner way is just you dip and you eat. 
I'm gonna go home and just start eating with my hands. Yeah, I'm telling you, hand eating, bro, is just amazing. Wow. It does become problematic. Check that out. Oh, oh you got that. Check bro. that out. How tender is that beef? Mm. That's really good. Right? This is a, if it's a goat, yeah, this is a goat, goat karai. Uh, wow. A goat karai. Karai basically means cooked in like a in, in like a wok, sort of, right? It's just cooked at per order in a wok, and it's made just on a fresh high flame. Just cooked right there. It's on a wok. It's on a wok. That's it, that's the pro. You're already a pro. I'm learning. That's very good. Yeah. Different consistency. Tomato. Isn't it? You can tell it tastes of tomato. Mm hmm Karai is supposed to be designed to be fresh. Karai. 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 It's supposed to be designed with freshness in mind, so to speak, right? Like it's supposed to just that be That is fresh very thing. good. That's probably the best thing. So far, yeah? yeah? So far. Okay, so you're, you're, the karai is a hit for you then. That's a hit. So out of everything so far, the karai. The karai. The karai is it. Okay. The first uh, first looks, what do you think about this? Okay, first looks here. Um, looks soupy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that smell, what is that smell? Mm. That's a, um... Oh, that's a, uh... I know that smell. You think so? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, help me. What is that? This is a chicken curry. A chicken curry. Chicken curry. Okay. Flat out chicken curry. That is the curry that the I most smell. the most basic curry that you can have, like when you think of of curries and all. What do you think? Okay. Bismillah. Bismillah. I love it. Hmm. That's interesting. It's almost a little sweet. The, the meat is a little sweet. A little bit, yeah. Right? I like it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What would you, my friend, say this is? I have a few thoughts. Go ahead. It looks like um, a big fried wonton. Okay. Okay, so just like a fried dough with some meat or rice or something in there. Um, that's immediately what I think of fried dough and just either meat, cheeses, rice, Fair. things stuffed inside. Sort of like an empanada if you look at it, you know, from, from that or a yes. kind of thing, right? Yes. But definitely some type of pastry where the bread and there's some filling inside. Yes. It. Okay, so this is what we call a samosa. Samosa? So you're having a samosa? You're not gonna tell me what's in the middle. No, you gotta figure it out. I like it. I like it. Bismillah. Bismillah. Take that bite. It should be hot. It came out fresh after the thing. So. What you saying, Joe? What the heck? <laughs> yeah. A lot of flavors. A lot of flavors. I'm getting. I see the peas. Yeah. Potato. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. That, that's what I'm getting. Peas, yeah. potatoes, spices. Peas, potatoes, that's exactly what it is. That's it? Yeah, that's it. It's as simple as that. I got it. That palate is serious. <laughs> the palate is serious. So now, let me see, how, how do you like that one? I like it. Yeah? It, I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. Um, I guess like a potato and cheese empanada they have had before kind of tastes like that. But better spices. Yeah. All of these things have great spices. I'm glad you like that. You know? I'm glad you, I'm glad you see that because that's definitely, definitely true. Now. Take a look at this dish right over here. Pop it open. And uh, before, see what you think. yeah. Before I open this, my first reaction is scary. Yeah. It looks like like an egg, either like a hard boiled egg or like a uh, a large grape or something in some oil. Yeah. Um. So that's my first. Okay, take a little. Let's get the, the next senses. You got the eye senses yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Now let's get the nose senses in there. Okay. Not yeah. not what I would have. Not imagined. eggy at all. No, not eggy at all. Not no, no, it's got all. a little sweetness smell. Mm -hmm. A little syrupy almost. Mm -hmm. Now, this is gonna be really simple, bro. You're really just once you're done checking it out, you're just gonna grab one, make sure it's like nicely dipped, and you just go for it. Woo! Here no we spoon, go. no nothing, Here you just go, go for it, take one out. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? What's the procedure? Stay f calm! What? Bismillah. Bismillah. Oh, oh, okay. A little thick. Syrup. Yep. I know you got a sweet tooth. So. Wow. I don't know. I 
<laughs> how the tastes are getting to this look. It looks like this, but the tastes in my mouth are something else. Extreme. Yeah. It's almost like a light syrup. Yeah. In like a fried dough ball. Yes. Yes. This is called a gulab jamun. Gulab jamun. Yes. Uh, before you go to it, describe what you see. I know you're a texture person, texture so person. like, you know, what do you think? It scares me, yeah. again. Um, it's like a wet rice, almost. It, oh, it looks like rice pudding. Mm -hmm. It looks like a pudding. Um, so yeah, that's... There's not really a smell. Um, so yeah, I would say that kind of looks like a rice pudding. Okay, give it a try. Bismillah. Whoa. Whoa. That... Corn? It's rice. Rice? It is a rice pudding. It is rice pudding. It's rice pudding. Wow. I, I almost got like a corn taste right away. Okay. Wow. It looks like almost congealed, right? Yeah. Like it, it kind of looks soft and hard. Yeah. That type of texture scares me. It freaks you out. It freaks me out. Same, same. You yeah. know? So that's kind of why I stick to like foods that I can easily identify and eat. Good. You know what I mean? Good. Yeah. I, I would, after today, I might go and try some more new stuff. But yeah. And, you know, before this, I, you wouldn't find me walking into a new place and ordering something new. So, you know what? I think that the most important thing is that you are giving your palate a, a, a chance and a reset. And you're trying different foods that actually scared you, but turned out to be pretty good. Really good. Yeah, right? So, how would you describe this? I gotta uh, try. I gotta yeah, try go ahead, please. As much yeah, as you take, again. take as much as you want. It's man. good. It's sweet. It's got like a vanilla you taste. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. But it's it's soft. Like you can't feel any like rice in your mouth. Yeah. It's soft. It's yeah. like a pudding. Yeah. But it's also congealed on top a little bit. It's kind of hard. Yeah. So it's like why it doesn't it taste hard? Yeah. So this is what we call a kid. A kid. A kid. It's basically rice pudding, sweet and in condensed milk. Condensed milk. Yeah, condensed yeah, yeah. Milk. Get sweet the milk in. taste. The vanilla extract a little bit in there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what it is. Yo, I really appreciate yeah. you, bro. Thank, thank you for having me. Bro, thank you so much this for being great. over here, and and I hope you enjoy the food. It's amazing. And uh, would you ever try Pakistani food once for for all the Pakistani fans out there? Not only will I try it again, okay. I will bring people to go try it with Let's me. Go. Let's so go. So we're Let's just go. gonna keep expanding things. Let's go. You know. We had some fun, we ate some food, but also gave some da'wah. Remember guys, interact with your colleagues. Teach them the values of Islam. Because if we're not going to give them da'wah, who else will?